Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm participating in a DIY floral challenge hosted by Heidi Sonbel and Lindsay from Domer Home. Their channels are linked below. I chose to challenge myself and do a Dollar Tree DIY as well, so everything you see here came from the Dollar Tree. These are garden stakes as well as some plant holders, a hanging basket, and um, a little bit of um, a plant base or whatever that is. So I'm first taking the plates and I'm spray painting those black. And then I'm taking the two smaller garden posts and I'm taking this little piece off. It's really not too hard to break this off. You just have to bend probably two times and it comes right off. I repeated the same thing on the other garden stake and then I glued these two pieces together. I removed the chain from the hanging basket and then I took the bigger garden stakes and did the same thing by removing the extra piece. And once the pieces were removed, I put those together, I crossed them over each other and this is where I'm going to put the basket and I'm just figuring out exactly how I want it to be placed and I'm gluing these two garden stakes together. And then to reinforce them, I'm also using this twine, which came from the Dollar Tree I already had from a previous project. And this is how it looked when it was all done. And then I'm just showing I marked with a piece of chalk where I want to bend the wire. So I'm just putting it at the edge of the table and pressing down. It's bending very easily. And then I had to use a computer monitor for the other side just to let the bended part have something to hang over on. And um, it bends nicely, but once it bends once, you really can't do it again, otherwise you are in danger of snapping it completely off. So I placed the basket where I wanted to go and did another marking, and this is where I'm going to bend it again. And this is what it looks like after. And then I'm just showing how I got this curve. I had to use the side of a couch. And then I have to do one more bend. I'm just trying to figure out how much I need to use. So I have figured out and then I bend that down as well. And this is what that looked like. This is the front part. I'm gluing that together. And then I glue this piece to the piece that I had previously glued together. Next, I'm going to reinforce that with some twine again. And this is the result of that. So as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that's a little bit too tall. So I decided to bend it again at this little mark. And I used the computer monitor to do that. And then I bend it a little bit more by hand. Uh, just to make sure that everything is nice and sharp at the bottom. And then once again, glue that together. And then I got the plastic plates again. I had cut the other plates to make smaller wheels for the back and I'm just gluing those on. And then I line the plates up, the bigger plates, and then I glue those together. I cut a little mark out to fit where the wire was going to go. And then I slid the wire down into the middle of the plates. And I allowed a little hole at the bottom to let the wire come through. And then I'm just going to glue that in place here. And at the bottom. And I went back over the plate with black paint on the areas where the spray paint had chipped off. So I placed the wire basket where I wanted to go and I glue it on. 
and once again reinforce with the twine. And this is how that looks. So I'm just showing it from different angles. This is pretty much the final result. I'm just putting that little mesh thing in there. And then I put a little styrofoam block that I had used many times before and I'm just putting these pink flowers in. I attached a lot of the flowers to these little skewer sticks to um, make them higher. And I just fill them in. These flowers I previously had, I've used them a few times in other projects. I wanted to try something completely different this time, so I figured why not try this. I don't really care for that wheel in the front because it's so thick, but I wanted to keep everything Dollar Tree, and that's the best I could find, so here is the final result. And not counting the things I already had, this project cost a total of $7. I placed the finished piece on my front porch and then I added a little bird to the bike as well. I tied his legs down with some twine. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.